to a YouTube channel, every subscriber matters equally. But it can get quite cumbersome to continuously monitor the subscriber count. In this video, we will make it just a little bit easier to keep a tab on that subscription count using a Raspberry Pi. Let's get started, but first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this one so that we can know for sure that this little gadget is working properly. For this project, we will use a Raspberry Pi 4 with Raspbian preloaded. You may use any model of the Raspberry Pi with the GPIO headers. A mini breadboard to make the electronic connections. An LCD 1602 with an I2C module soldered on. This is fairly easy and cheap to get. Some Dupont wires. And that's about it. We will have links to all these components in the description and comments below. Using these links to purchase the components will help out the channel. As always, let's begin by launching the terminal and then updating and upgrading our Raspbian repositories using the following update and upgrade commands. The LCD will be interfaced through the I2C pins on the GPIO header of the Raspberry Pi. To use those pins, we first need to enable them in the Raspbian configuration file. To do that, Open the Raspbian configuration settings using the top left menu on the Raspbian interface. Now, make sure that the following settings are toggled on and then click on OK. Reboot your Raspberry Pi to activate the settings. After the reboot, open up terminal again and run the following command to install I2C tools. Now install SMBus using the following command. Now before we proceed, we need to make the display connections on the Raspberry Pi. We will make the connections as shown on screen. We will be using the 4 pins, ground and 5 volts, SDA and SCL on the GPIO header. Make the appropriate connections on your Raspberry Pi to the I2C module. Once done and you can see the backlight of the display turn on, you know you are ready to go. Now open up terminal again and run the following command to find out the address of your LCD display. If you're using an old Raspberry Pi, use the number 0 instead of 1. You should get a grid like this one. Note down the address from the grid. Yours might be different from ours, so take note. In this case, we note down the number 27. Now, let's create a folder named subcounter for our project in home slash pi using the following command. We now need a library that will allow us to write to the LCD using the I2C pins. Follow the GitHub link below and download the zip file. Once downloaded, open the zip file and extract the driver file to the subcounter folder created earlier on. Now open up the subcounter folder and verify that the two files have been extracted properly. Now back to terminal. Change our directory to the subcounter folder using the following command. Let's now open up the driver script file using the following command on terminal. Here, we will need to find the LCD address variable and change it to the one we copied earlier on. You just need to change the last two digits. For us, we had noted the number 27 and that is what we will input here. Now we can save the script using Ctrl and X then Y and Enter. 
We can now create our main script file using the following command. Head over to the link given in the description to find the code we used for this part. Copy the code and paste it to the open nano editor on your terminal. To make this code work, we will require two things. Firstly, we will require an API which we can easily obtain from the Google dashboard. To do that, head over to the link given below. Now select a project from the top left corner of the screen if you already have one or create one by clicking on new project. Give the project an appropriate name. I will call mine YouTube Subscriber Counter. Once created, select your project and click on Create Credentials. Select API key from the list. The API key will then be created. Now, we need to enable the YouTube API. To do that, head over to the dashboard from the left-hand panel and click on Enable APIs and Services. Search for the YouTube Data API v3 and click on it. Now, enable the API by clicking on Enable. Once enabled, click on Credentials on the side panel and select the newly created key. Click on the Copy button right beside the key to copy. Now head back to the terminal and paste it inside the inverted commas for the variable API key. Secondly, we need to replace the channel ID by the appropriate channel's identification number that YouTube provides. To do that, head over to the channel link on YouTube and copy the channel ID from the URL. This one we have to paste inside the inverted commas of the channel ID variable. We can now change the channel name as required. Now, press Ctrl and X, then Y and Enter to save. You can run this script manually using the following command. Doing that, you should see appear on your LCD display, your channel name and the number of subscribers that you have. However, we will update this thing to periodically refresh the count. To do this, we have to open cron tab using the following command, then type 1 and enter to open cron tab with the nano editor. Type the following code shown on screen on the last line of cron tab. Press Ctrl, X, then Y and enter to save. And voila! You can now also make a nice little enclosure for your Raspberry Pi and the LCD display. And you may as well use the Raspberry Pi normally for other functions. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like and a comment down below if this helped you out or you have any suggestions or questions. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep dialing pixels.